it's me your little boy is something you know this message is going to go to everyone up there choosing ones why are you expecting them to do what to celebrate you or congratulate you even when you know they are not content with what they have <laughs> you know you know this is something that my dad always tell me Samson, do not think people who don't value what they have will accurately value what you have within you. <laughs> do not think that people who are not content with the life they have will also, you know, be grateful with your own life or be happy with your own life. Because as long as they don't like their own life, as long as they don't like whom they are, they will never be happy to see you happy. Because we are living in a world where we expect people's happiness to bring our happiness out. Meaning that we, we are living in a world where we expect people to tell us how good we are. How, how amazing we are doing. Even when we know that they themselves are not content with what they have. It's impossible for someone who don't know the value he or she carry to discover your own value. Even if they see the value, they won't be able to, to do what? To, 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 to discover or to appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So that is why you need to understand that you don't need to expect them to celebrate you. Because they are not celebrating what they have. They are not satisfied with what they have. They are not content with what they have. This is why you should understand that people will always debate on your what on your doing. This is why you need to know that no matter how you do, no matter how good, how nice, how, uh, how amazing you are doing in life today, there must be someone up there that will not value you. <laughs> Even if they see it. Because the truth is that they, they are not seeing their own what, their own value. They are not seeing their own what, uniqueness. They are not seeing their own sources. How much more you? So that is to tell you that they can never value you because they don't value themselves. This is why you need to, con to be content and, what, and know the fact truth that people who know the value of their self will also discover your own value. You get it? So this is the reason why you don't need to expect people to do or to celebrate you. This is the reason why you don't need people to tell you how good you are doing either in the business or in school or in any areas of your life. This is why you should not expect people who are failures already to tell you that you are winning. Because even if you are winning right in front of them, yes, they may feel, they may see it, but they will never do it. They will never let you know that you are winning. Because they hate whom they are. Because the truth is that the price of a goose is not, is not what, uh, is not being... Uh, 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 ordered or uh, uh, how I put it the price of any goose is determined how good the, the what the goose is that, that is to tell you that no matter how good you are no matter how nice you are doing someone will still do what disvalue you why because they have already disvalued themselves only winners will understand that you are winning only winners will understand that you are doing good. Only winners will understand the pain of trying. Only winners will understand the pain of trying to succeed. So if someone have not fall, it will, it will be very possible for them to celebrate those who fall and rise. <laughs> so, so if someone have not passed through pain, difficulties, delay, it will be very difficult for them to do or to celebrate those who have won through the pain, who have conquered through the obstacles. So if you don't know what it takes to be you, that is why sometimes you expect failure to understand or to celebrate you. 
you don't know that majority of people who are around you, many of them are jealous of the fact that ah, how come you foil, uh, but yet you refuse to stay there? Oh my God. Because they don't see what it takes to do what, to do what you do. They can't. They don't know what it takes to be you. Because there are a lot of people who have fall down, but to rise again is the problem they have. Not that they are not they are not breathing, not that they are not smiling, not that they are not smart, but they don't have what it takes to rise again. That is why no matter how many times you fall, you rise, they will still do what they will still make you feel like you are not rising because they can never rise again like you. Because they know that no matter what they do, no matter how they do it, they can never be you. So this is why you need to understand that many people are jealous of the fact that you, you even if things become difficult, even if things are not working out, but yet you will still rise. You still rise. So this is why you need to understand that don't expect losers to celebrate you. Don't expect what failures to jubilate with you. Don't, don't expect, you know, losers to tell you how good, how marvelous you are doing because they don't know what it takes to do what you do. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what it takes to do what you are doing. This is the reason why you should always be what? Be grateful. <laughs> Because trust me, you have no idea how marvelous you are doing, bro. You have no idea how jealous they are. <laughs> you get it? So many people are jealous of the fact that you are doing well. That is why they can never tell you. Because as long as, you know, as long as they are not doing like you, they are not succeeding like you, even if they see it, they will make it feel like they are not seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Even if they see your womb. Even if they see your winning, even if they see your sources, they will make it feel like they are not seeing nothing. They will make it look like they are not seeing nothing. Why? Because they don't know how you are capable to manage and still rise up again. Because there are many people who are secretly watching you, but it shocked them. It shocked them. That is why they can never celebrate you. It does not matter how many times you win. It does not matter how many times you fall. And they are there watching you. You rise again. They can never celebrate you. Because many of them are shocked. How come you are capable to do it? How come you refuse not to do what? To zinc and stalk and fold. So that is why you should not expect them to do what? To celebrate you. Because they are not celebrating themselves. They are not celebrating what they have. Remember, bless you. God bless you.